What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's two-game NBA main slate, courtesy of Osmo.com and presented by Superdraft. Even though the NBA schedule makers decided to give us just two games today, very logical given the 11 yesterday and 14 we'll have tomorrow. We got to put out a Four Corners for you guys. Let's get that power of positivity going. And right now, please hit that like button. If you want to win a free month of Osmo Plus, like the video and comment your top value play according to DraftKings salaries down below. I do have a winner from yesterday's video that I'll announce a bit later on. But right now, if you want to join that person at the Osmo Plus pay window, like the video and comment your top value play down below. But even on a two-gamer, we've got no time to waste here in the four corners, so let's get right into it, starting with our top-owned plays in Chris Stops Porzingis in a matchup versus the Clippers, which they're 112.5 implied points for Dallas. Porzingis has 55% expected ownership on DraftKings, while he has 46% on FanDuel. Porzingis' price is very reasonable, coming off a 51.75 fantasy point game. And while the Clippers' tough defense will make it harder on him and everyone, he should be a necessary offensive part of Dallas keeping this game competitive. And another top-owned play is Luka Doncic in that matchup versus the Clippers, in which there are, again, 112 12.5 implied points for Dallas. Luka has 49% expected ownership on DraftKings, where he has 54% on FanDuel. Luka has at least 59 fantasy points in his last nine games and over 70.5 fantasy points in four out of his last six. But there's some tournament risk that the Clippers squeeze him with a lot of quality defenders and a 102.7 defensive efficiency rating with 43% shooting allowed to opposing teams. And a much cheaper top owned play is Gary Harris in a match versus Washington in which there are 118.8 implied points for Denver. Gary has 48% expected ownership on DraftKings, where he has 50% on FanDuel. Harris looks like the best value industry wide with a low usage rate but positive regression due for his 41% shooting and a good spot to do that given the 120.3 points per game that Washington allows. And now into our next corner some of the top value plays on the slate starting with Dwight Powell in that match versus the Clippers in which there are 112.5 implied points for Dallas. Powell's role is less valuable this year with Porzingis in the mix but his price could be worth some exposure with 31 fantasy point upside this year but his last six games at 20.5 fantasy points or much less. Another top value play is Thomas Bryant at match at Denver in which there are 108.8 implied points for Washington. Bryant can benefit from the 46% rebound rate Denver allows at all possessions with his price down, but there is some risk Mo Wagner could steal minutes if the Washington starters fail. And another top value is Paul Millsap in that match versus Washington, in which there are 118.8 implied points for Denver. Millsap has over 29.5 fantasy points in his last eight games, and now he gets a pace up versus Washington with a reasonable price at a seemingly mostly secure role. And because this is such a short slate for our next corner, let's hit on some other interesting facts about the slate, including the Clippers' defense at Dallas. Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and Patrick Beverly all come with a defensive efficiency rating under 103, in line with the team's 102.7 on the year, and it's a substantial risk given Dallas' overachieving 114.6 offense efficiency rating to start the year. Another interesting fact is that Paul George may be due for some positive regression on his shot. George has shot 4 for 15 and 6 for 20 in his last two games with bigger minutes loads than Kawhi Leonard, and his price is significantly cheaper than Kawhi's industry-wide. And less of a fun fact, and more of a thing to think about tonight is Nikola Jokic's confusing start to the year. Jokic has disappointed many times the field has been on him, but he's shown 64 fantasy point upside within the last week, and his strong 32 percent assist rate could thrive given the 48 percent shooting that Washington allows at high pace. And for our last corner, let's hit on some of the lower owned dart throws for the slate, including Montrez Harrell in that matchup at Dallas, in which there are 114.5 implied points for the Clippers. Harrell went off last game, but with his ownership much lower than the other Clippers pieces, banking on him and maybe Lou Williams, having an outlier day while Paul George and Kawhi have average ones would be an interesting tournament approach to take today. Another lower owned dart throw could be Tim Hardaway in that matchup versus the Clippers, in which there are 112.5 implied points for Dallas. Hardaway saw 38 minutes and 18 shot attempts and route to 49.5 fantasy points in his last game versus Houston. And he's seen more opportunities moving into the starting line for Seth Curry, who also looms as a pivot on the bench in case Tim Hardaway fails. And another guy I hinted at earlier is a low owned dart throw, Mo Wagner in that matchup at Denver, in which there are 108.8 implied points for Washington. Washington's starting group could struggle to score versus Denver's tough defense, and if Wagner or the slightly higher priced Davis Bertans heat up off the bench, one of these guys could get extra minutes and meaningfully exceed value for tournaments. So there you have it. That's what I see so far for today's two game slate. So right now, please hit that like button. And if you want to win that free month of Osmo Plus. Like the video and comment your top value play according to DraftKings salaries down below. Yesterday, we had one winner in the comments who guessed the top value play of Jarrett Allen, and you can see him right here, George Allen, rooting for his brother Jarrett. So congratulations, George. Email me at chris at osmo.com to collect your prize right now. And of course, those free months of Osmo Plus come courtesy of our presenting sponsor, Superdraft. So right now, head over to superdraft.io. If you use the promo code Osmo, you get $20 free on any deposit of $100 or more. So go right now to superdraft.io and check out their multiple 
tournaments. There's a bunch of overlay, and you just pick players. You don't even have to know salaries. So go to superdraft.io right now to get your $20 free. And our data at Osmo Plus can be a big advantage on a short slate like this. Use this promo code switch and hedge for half off your first month of Osmo Plus. If you go to osmo.com slash join, you'll find packages as low as $3.95 a week on there. So go to osmo.com slash join right now and choose a package that'll work for you. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I've got seven days a week of NFL and NBA content and my own personal podcast, which you can check out on the pinned tweet right now on Twitter at Chris Spags. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow for another Four Corners to close this out before Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys have a great night. I'll see you guys again soon. Good luck.